In part 1 of planar dipole antenna, we have designed an antenna. Now we are going to discuss the results of that by a planar dipole antenna for GSM 900. And we will add the sweep in the result. We will see how to shift the band and how we can improve the bandwidth of a filter of antenna design. In previous design, we have created this antenna. You can see this, and we we miss one thing. You must add box boundary as a radiation before analyzing this project. After that, analyze this project and the results. We are going to check out the result as parameter. You can see that the bandwidth of this antenna is quite good. I am going to mark it at minus 10 dB. You can see the bandwidth at minus 10 B dB is 0.85 gigahertz to 0.95 gigahertz, which is exact according to the requirement. This is we have now. First, we are going to check the E field pattern. For this antenna, I'm going to animate it. This is we have animation behavior of this planar dipole antenna. This is basically radiating the horizontally polarized waves. Now I am going to add far field report. And after that, we will add sweep in the length and width of this dipole. And by changing the relative permittivity or substrate type, what results will change? We will discuss this. Those results. Now, our far field report, we are going to check the radiation pattern. This is for all frequencies range. Now I am going to check the far field polar plot. This is we have zero radiating quite good. Now I am going to add parameterize result. In this way you can add the parameterize. First I am going to check for dipole length from 135 millimeter to 150 with a step size of 4 from here you can see the values at which it will gives us press ok now now I am going to analyze this project Now I am going to check the result, parameterize result. In this case, I added the parameterize length in the length of this dipole. Here you can see that. This is the 
second band third band you can see that the band is going to shift this is for lower 135 mm for lower values of dipole it is going to shift high toward higher frequency for higher length of dipole it is going to shift to lower frequency this is the case where you can see that the highest value of dipole antenna the lowest value of in this band the band working band is VA.8.1 2.9 this band we can use it for 0.85 gigahertz operating frequency for 1800 GSM 1800 we can further little increase in dipole length uh, up to 150 one few, if we increase the dipole length to 155 millimeter, we can shift this band from GSM 1900 operating frequency to GSM 1800. GSM 1800 operating frequency. For our, uh, GSM 1800 operating frequency, we have to decrease the length because 1.8 gigahertz operating frequency. We will see in next lecture for that. Similarly, you can check for other parameterized result for antenna width. In antenna width, you will observe the matching of the band. And if we change the gap, there will be not any big effect. But if we change the materials of this substrate, here we have is relative permittivity 2.2 and we have a uh, dielectric loss tangent is 0 0.009 if we change it the, you will observe the shift of band similarly if we change the height of this substrate here from 2.1 millimeter to higher higher values of bandwidth you will observe the band is going to shift toward lower frequencies and if we decrease the substrate height from 2.1 to lesser 1.5 up to 1 millimeter you will see that this band is shifting toward higher frequency you can observe these result by adding a different sweep in the this different parameters of antenna